New Orleans station WWL receives a Peabody. Careful pre-planning for its own operations enabled WWL to stay on the air throughout the ravages of Hurricane Katrina. Similar planning and concern led to the provision of a truly vital service to the citizens of New Orleans and the Gulf Coast region. Jonathan, uh, you were in the Lower Ninth Ward. We've, we've talked about St. Bernard, and, and these are the areas that have been hit hardest by Katrina. What did you see? Oh, no. This is video we took just within the last couple of hours. Police just oh. began the rescue operation of going through these homes, trying to pull people out. As you can see, they're using boats, going through these neighborhoods, rescuing people who are trapped up in their attics. Some are trapped up in their roofs. Many, many people stayed behind to try to ride out this storm. And as the water rose, they were desperate to try to find higher ground. So we talked with many people who broke up through their ceiling to get into their attic and then in some cases had to break through their roof to get onto the actual roof and this this photo to me says so much here oh. you see these elderly people here who Their are they had no choice but had to stay. no choice but to stay and being helped out in a couple of minutes by their neighbors who helped them took them in it's him and an, and an elderly female as well a lady um, with basically nothing on but their clothes. I mean, just the undergarments pretty much being helped by their neighbors into the back of National Guard trucks trying to get some help. And that is the best of the New Orleanians. Here to accept a Peabody for WWL, Executive News Director Sandra Breland. On behalf of WWL and the Bilo Corporation, I'd like to thank the University of Georgia. I'm incredibly proud and grateful to work with the staff of WWL People like this who saw their hometowns in ruins and put aside their personal crisis to do their jobs as journalists without hesitation and with unmatched passion. And for the Bilo Corporation and giving us all the resources and support available to do that job. But the work in New Orleans is far from over. We keep hearing about Katrina fatigue. The rest of the country has moved on and they're tired of the story. Well, for those of us who have lived it every day for the last nine months, we can't afford to be fatigued. Neither can the thousands of New Orleanians who still can't return home, or those who to this day are sleeping in their cars and in tents. To Brian Williams, CNN, and WLOX, thanks for your amazing work in keeping our story alive. And to those of you who haven't been to New Orleans since the storm, you have to see it firsthand to really understand. I encourage you, please come down and visit and help us rebuild one of America's truly unique cities. Thank you.